When we got back from Ireland, Minan said to me, Ali, you must have bowls the size of oranges. And I said, you know, Nan, I do. But luckily, we know a lot of women who love the taste of orange juice. Aye. When the 11 o'clock show told me that I was going to interview an expert on woman, I said, listen, I don't want to stand in front of the mirror for half an hour. <laughs> but then they told me that I was meeting Professor Sue Liz, who is uh, head of gender studies. Check this. Booyakasha! Check this. Today we is talking about women. I is with none other than Professor Sue Lees. She be director of the Center for Gender Research. And we is going to be talking about ladies. Now, one in two people in the country is a woman. So it's about time you've got to know about them. Women, they is important, aren't they? They indeed are. Very important. As important as men. Which is better, man or woman? Well, equality is not about being better. But which one is better? <laughs> I don't think either is better. But one must but be a little bit better. In what respect? Like, you know, in the way that something is worse and something is better. Do you think there will ever be a female Prime Minister? Well, there has been one. Um, when? Margaret Thatcher. No, she weren't Prime Minister. Yes. She was uh, the Defence Minister. No, she was Prime Minister. Do you think another woman will be allowed to slip through? I mean, the real question is whether there'll be a President of the United States who is a woman. Do you think a woman should be able to have any job? I do, yes. I think they should be able to have any job. Would you feel safe, though, if uh, you knew a woman was flying your plane? Why well, would you feel safe? A woman was flying it. Do you feel safe being driven by a woman? No. But would you not be scared that she would start nattering or thinking about things and then forget to fly the plane or get angry and suddenly... That's incredible prejudice. You Why? Know, because there's no evidence that women... Women are just as reliable workers as men are. A lot of boys we know is trying to get their girlfriends into feminism. Do you think that is right? Yeah, I do. I think it's a good thing. Do you think all girls should try feminism at least once? Well, girls today often don't recognise how much they benefited from feminism. But do you think it is right when they try feminism when they is drunk at a party or whatever with a few mates? What is trying feminism? You know, try a bit of feminism and when they is sober the next day they get back together with their boyfriends. I don't understand what you mean by get feminist. When they kiss. A woman. What, being lesbian are you talking about? Sexually? Aye, for but real. That's not <laughs> feminism is not about sex, having sex relationships with I, other women. I ain't that only is not about what that. Well, it's not about it at all. <laughs> My uncle, Jamal, he says he is trisexual. Yeah. He is quite anything sexual. <laughs> what does that mean? There are a lot of people, you know, who would agree that they are, that they would like having sexual relationships with men and with women. So you're saying that you think that he has done it with men? But he has. Aye? Um, well, it would suggest that from that, or that he's interested in it. don't know whether he would have done it. That's what done it means. <laughs> so you think um, my uncle Jamal is a... Uh, oh, I don't know about <laughs> Actually. But you think my Uncle Jamal like it in both pipes? Well, I think he probably uh, is making a joke. For real. So it's probably a joke. It's probably it a joke. It isn't necessarily. Because <laughs> he is a joker. Yes, if I you think called he's him, a joker. If you called him uh, that to his face, he'd probably kill you. <laughs> we just want to say thank you, Professor Lees. Big up yourself. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you much. very much.